Hey up and welcome to Callum's Corner. Right, we need to have an incredibly serious talk. Um, I need to address the Philip Schofield situation. Now, for those of you who don't know, I was Philip's biggest fan. I actually made a video on my channel a few years ago just singing his praises, explaining what like what a big part of my childhood he'd been. The broom cupboard, going live, Gordon the Gopher, it was massive for me. So much so that I actually cried when he left the broom cupboard. He got replaced by Andy Peters. Um, and that wasn't anything racist, it was just my attachment to Philip. He played that big a part in my childhood. Um, obviously, uh, the, the levels of his deceit is dirtiness is debauchery deviance have all become clear this last week and it's, it's been like a slap in the face you know it's been unraveling for a while there's been rumors hanging around but it's all it's all come out now isn't it and i've not dealt with it well it's been difficult i've just i've just hidden away if i'm being honest with you i played an insane amount of football manager i've shot myself off away from the world in my little office just playing football manager constantly hundreds of hours of it so much so that my office seat has actually lost its poofiness and it's like cement now it's so uncomfortable and i spent so long on it it's actually caused me a hemorrhoid i'm in physical discomfort from the whole situation the stress of it all um and and it's 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 permutating into my life now you know i'm Woke up in a cold sweat the other night from a nightmare where I was being like chased by him. Like he was trying to get me in the broom cupboard. I was helpless. It was awful. Um, obviously, I've seen the comments coming in on that video and people have been messaging me. Oh, you should delete that video. What you said about him. Oh, you need to you need to talk about him. Like I'm not for deleting videos. Do you know what I mean? I felt that way. I've got to be honest about it. It doesn't happen very often, but occasionally I am wrong. And I'll stand by that. There's probably millions of other people who uh, thought of the Skulf as a hero to them, you know, who had that opinion. And it's just got to be there. I've just got to run that now, haven't I? There's no point pretending it didn't happen. I was wrong. Um, and I'm not going to try and hide it. Let that be a comfort to the other people who got tricked out there. It wasn't just you. Even someone like me got tricked. Um, it's horrifying. It's horrifying, obviously, and so many people seem to think it's a joke. People messaging me seem to think it's a joke. My old mother seems to think it's a joke. Twice she's done this thing today where she's put her dressing gown on and pretended it's Scoff's bloody Technicolor dream coat and that she's going to flash me with it. You know, it's inappropriate, but the worst thing is she's probably right, isn't she? He probably did do inappropriate stuff under that Technicolor dream coat. God knows if he was naked or whatever. I don't know, but probably... And I, you know, and it's just the audacity that she's even making light of the situation, to be honest with you. She has got a hell of a lot to answer for, that woman. You know, my mother used the BBC, children's TV, as a babysitter for me when I was younger. That was my upbringing. Oh, sit down, Cal. Why don't you watch bloody Philip Schofield in the broom cupboard? Oh, that's finishing. It's OK. Jim, I'll fix it starting soon. It's amazing that I've managed to turn out as normal as I am, actually. Um... Yeah, she's got a hell of a lot to answer for. It's disgusting. I feel bad for a lot of people. You know, myself for one. You out there who've been tricked. Um, Holly, I can barely bear to think about poor Holly. You know, she's a lovely lady, Holly Willoughby. She deserves none of this just because he sated his deviant little desires. It's just, it's just such a slap in the face. I stayed with him through thick and thin. You know, the gay thing, I was still in his corner supporting him, even though he'd walked out on his wife and kids. You know, I was still there, Team Scalf. And now I'm thinking, you know, what was that even about? He probably probably only came out to, because he was worried all this was going to come out, wasn't he? You know, it's a betrayal. A betrayal in the worst possible way. Um, I don't know whether he'll watch this video, probably not, although I will send it to him on Twitter just so he knows. Just so he knows exactly what he did. Part of me wants to put a picture up of me as a kid in all my innocence just to confront him and say, Luke, say my name. Say sorry to that young kid that you betrayed, Philip. But you know what? I daren't do that with a picture of me as a young boy because he might like it, mightn't he? Might get some kind of pleasure out of it. That's such a sad situation, isn't it? I'm just left with sadness and impotent rage and I'm left with no choice but to destroy him. 
Now, I'm sorry, Philip, and this isn't a physical threat. I will leave all of that to the police. Um, but I do have one avenue open to me, and that is musical. Um, I'm talking specifically about a diss track that I will now write. I'm going on holiday to Morocco soon. I will spend that holiday devising the, the most incredible diss track, and I will destroy Philip, just like you destroyed my childhood. I'm now left wondering what went on with Gordon the Gopher. Was that an of-age person whose hand was in that gopher? Or was that a child, a young boy whose hand was in that gopher? And what was that gopher's mouth doing when the cameras went on you, Philip? Those are the thoughts that are now going through my head. That's what you've left me with. That is why I'm going to destroy you.